Let's talk about the maps or navigation on the Apple Watch. If you are trying to get the Google Maps right now to the watch, d just don't try to do it since it is not possible. Pretty much there is no way to get the Google Maps on the Apple Watch. It used to be here, they made a specific app just for the watch, but for some reason they removed it in 2017 or so. I'm not going to go deep into the topic on of why they removed the Google Maps, but it is not available on the Apple Watch anymore. So don't try to get it. You will not be able to. The only way would be to travel back in time and use it in 2015. But anyways, what you can use now is the classic Apple Maps app. I know it's not the best one. Arguably, the Google Maps is the best maps. Of course, there are also some other apps that you can use in terms of maps, but let's just focus on the Apple Maps. This is the icon, of course, you know where to look for it on your home screen. And this is the maps that you can use. And these are pretty capable. Of course, not as capable as the Google Maps. Again, these Apple Maps are more developed in some areas. And in some areas, they lack some really significant landmarks. And really some really important stuff is missing. But it, it doesn't matter for some basic stuff and for some basic navigation. It's just going to get you pretty much everywhere you need to go. And there you go again, I'm interrupting the video right here to tell you guys that um, the first person to tell me what time it is right now on my watch is going to win a free iPhone. But jokes aside, I want to say that if you are new on this channel, then you can click on the subscribe button, which is going to do two things. It's just going to show me that you are interested in the content. It is going to help you stay updated and know what's going on. And it will actually help the channel a little bit. So it actually does three things but anyways let's continue with the video so the first and the easiest way of using the apple maps as the navigation tool or overall is to simply ask siri and if you have the apple watch like series 4 or later or series 3 i mean those have really good speakers so these uh, this apple watch will even tell you what's going on because if you compare it to some like Series 1 or 2, they don't really tell you that much. Of course, if you ask Siri, they just only put it on a screen and don't tell you or literally say the answer. So let's, for example, navigate me to the nearest gas station. And you click on the one that you want. For example, let's on this one. Now, of course, it is going to load it completely and then it's just going to give you directions on, on where you should head. Head south on Veterinary. Then turn left onto half now. So you can see it right there on the screen that it's just going to give you the multiple steps that you have to take. And it's just going to give you the, the directions that in 90 feet you have to turn left. And one thing that also happened, I didn't even touch my phone. It, it just noticed that it was right there. It turned on automatically. And now you can see it on the watch and on the phone as well. I am, of course, going to blur out my location just so you know where exactly I am right now, just for the sake of the video and my security. But anyways, let's continue. If you scroll down using the scrolling wheel, it's just going to move to the next... It's just going to move and jump to the next step or the next direction where you have to turn or do something. So you just keep zooming like that. You can see I am in the fourth of five things that I have to do, then turn slightly left and then turn left completely and I should be right there. So it just gives you all of the descriptions that you need. So it's really capable and really useful, I would say. But of course, sometimes you just don't want to give voice commands to Siri to navigate you or and sometimes Siri may not be that capable or give you the things or the destination that you wanted. So instead, you can use the search feature in the Maps app, which lets you dictate um, scribble or using the context to search for some sort of um, target or the place where you want to go, where you want to head. So usually, of course, if you don't want to dictate, obviously you can use the scribble feature and type in whatever you want. So I, for example, scribbled Berlin and now it just asks me, for example, I can click on a map to show me where it, ac where it actually is, traveling by car or going, just walking there, which would be impossible for me because right now I'm pretty far away from Berlin. But anyways, it just gives you multiple options or the public transport option. But this is a little bit more complicated and doesn't really work everywhere. So yeah, if it works in your area, then it's cool. But if it doesn't, then you just have to stick to the classic walking or give you the directions and stuff. So yeah, this is how it works. Let's just click on, for example, going by car. And it's just going to calculate uh, the exact the exact distance between 
my place between my location and the desired destination which is in my case berlin so yeah it just works of course you get my point and it's just going to work the same way as you could see before so you can see right there and now if i click it once again it just op it just then it just opens up the thing on the iPhone immediately. So it just works, of course. Everything is connected. You know what I'm talking about. So this is pretty much everything what you need to know. Right now, obviously, if I just cancel it, if I click, it's just going to turn it off on the iPhone as well. So you know how it works. You know what to expect when you're using the Apple Watch as a navigation tool. So this is pretty much it. I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it a little bit helpful, then I would really appreciate if you subscribe for more videos like this and for more content in the future. Also, leave a thumbs up on this video to let me know that you liked it and that you found some valuable information in it because I tried to put it there in the first place. So have a nice day. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you guys later in one of my other videos. Peace out.